Caliph Umar, month of March, lecture number 11. Reign of Second Caliphate In this section, we are going to learn about vast empires conquered by Hazrat Umar Raziyala Ta'ala Anhu. Firstly, let's have a look at the comparison between the two caliphate periods. This map shows the growth of the Islamic empire during the Abu Bakr and Umar reigns. But both had different circumstances for the campaigns. Near around 18 to 20 major campaigns held under the Abu Bakr's authority and it mainly occupied with the apostasy wars, it means those who declared themselves as the last prophet and against those who renounce their religion or want an exempt from the zakat. Under, under his caliphate period, many territories conquered by the Muslims, but unfortunately, he could not have the opportunity to establish an Islamic empire in these conquered states. In comparison to his reign, Umar's caliphate was mainly against the Persians and the Byzantines empire and the main intention was to defend Islam and its territories. Although after these conquests, Umar established a pure Islamic rule throughout the conquered peninsula. So here in the map it shows that Umar conquered all over the Byzantine and Persian side while Abu Bakr could not reach into these empires. Campaigns by Umar Raziyala Ta'ala Anhum Firstly, we are going to learn his major campaigns with the Persian Empire. Here is the map. In the map, you can analyze the situation of the Persia. Its main regions were Iraq and the river Euphrates and Tigris. While on the left side, Damascus, Jerusalem, Egypt and whole of the Byzantine Empire. In this first section, we are going to learn the major wars that occurred between or at the sides of the Iraq Euphrates River. Background of the campaigns in the Persian Empire Firstly, as we all know, that when Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, sent letter towards the Khosro Parvis, he insulted his letter and tore into pieces. Soon, Holy Prophet replied that his kingdom will be demolished and later on his son was his successor. This enmity also revealed when they helped in the rebellion of Bahrain. This is the major campaign that held under the authority of the Hazrat Abu Bakr and what was the reason that the people of Bahrain held Muslima and these people further took help from the Persians. Also, if we see geographically, Iraq had immense wealth due to the flow of the Euphrates and the Tigris River, while Arab was the barren land site and it mainly depends on Iraq for the trade. After a number of battles which held under the first caliph period, Persians did not allow Arabs to carry on their trade, including Arab tribes those who were living on the edges of the Iraq were helped to rise against the Islam. Therefore, it was required for the safety and defense of Islam to fight with such rising force. Here we can see a chart shows the battles which held under the Umar's Caliphate with the Persia. Battles at the place of Namarak and Jasser, Buweb, Qadisiya, capture of Madin. Jalula and Nahavan. Battle of Namarak. This is the first battle that held under the Second Caliphate. Muslims had captured the central Iraq, Hira, under the Caliphate of Abu Bakr with the help of Khalid bin Walid and Musanna. So the Persian got infurious and they wanted to recover it. Therefore, they prepared a large force to attack Muslims and during the caliphate period of Abu Bakr, Hazrat Khalid bin Walid had already left for Syria due to which Musanna was left alone on the Persian front. So, Hazrat Umar decided to send Abu Ubaid to join him in this battle. The commanders from the side of the Persia were Rustam and from the sides of the Muslim were Abu Ubaid 
and Musanna. Place the two armies met 10 miles from the Hera. It was Namarak and in this battle Muslims were victorious. Second is the major and important battle was the Battle of Jasser or it is also known as the Battle of Bridge. Reason Persian Emperor dispatched a lar large army to avenge the battle Namarak. In this battle, Persian commanders were was Bahman and Muslim army was led by Hazrat Abu Ubaid. Okay, in this battle, firstly the Persian commander challenged the Muslim forces to come and cross the river Ephraim. Against the advisors of the Muslim's army, Abu Ubaid ordered the army to build a bridge of ports and he soon crossed the river. As soon as they landed on the Persia, Persian side, they realized and they were particularly alarmed by the presence of the war elephants. These elephants routed the Muslims' cavalry. Also, Hazrat Abu Ubaid ordered the cavalry to dismount or come on the foot and fight with the Persians. Although the Muslims fought bravely and brought down many elephants, but they were trampled badly in large numbers. This when battle ends when Hazrat Abu Ubaid himself was mustard by one of the leader of the herds, that was the white elephant. Soon his brother took over. Later on, he was also martyred and then his son. One by one, all the Muslim commanders were martyred. Also, a Muslim had cut the boat bridge so that Muslim army would not lose heart and retreat easily. Analyzing the current situation, the routed soldiers jumped into the river and many lost their lives. Now, in this battle, the new Muslim commander was Hazrat Musanna. He ordered the bridge to be rebuilt. He and a small detachment held back the Persians while the survivors crossed over the Arab side. Result of the battle This battle was not in the favor of the Muslims, but yet they learned a great deal in this battle. Out of the original Muslim strength of 9,000 men, approximately 3,000 were able to survive. 2,000 fell fighting, 2,000 drowned in the river, and 2,000 fled to Medina and elsewhere. Third is the Battle of Buawid. After Jasser, Hazrat Umar sent messengers and invited Arabs to participate in the war. Many Muslims and Christians gather under the banner of Islam. In this battle, Mehran, an expert Arabian, an expert in Arabian warfare techniques from the size of the Persians lead and from the size of the Muslims, it was the Hazrat Musanna. Place of battle. Buwaib is actually in the north of the Hera, the first Iraq. Persian army initially camped on the eastern side of the Afrits, but Muslims allowed the Persians to cross over the Reban river because they had a better experience at Jasser. Event of the battle. These two armies engaged in a fierce battle and the Persian forces was many times larger than the Muslim army. But they were put to rout when their leader Mehran was killed. Hazrat Musanna destroyed the bridge over the Afrits when the Persians tried to fall back. Therefore, the result, the Persians were killed in large numbers and their army was almost completely destroyed. 